walk-off bombs, drama, and tons of web gems. Last night in the American Association had absolutely everything, and we start in today's whip around in Kansas City. Some great defense in this game. We start with John Hernandez out in right field. Great tumbling catch. The Russian judge gives him a perfect 10 for that dismount, and later Jordan Martinson right back at him, but he catches the comebacker on the fly for the out, showing off the reflexes and the smile. The Railcats led for much of this game, though. Tom Walraven, a two-run home run here out to left field. Long gone, his fourth of the year. It was 5-4 Railcats going into the ninth, but things would change on this grounder to short. Daniel Lingua throws it away at shortstop, and Matt Adams able to scamper in with the tying run for Kansas City. A frantic sequence, but we're going to extras, and the bases were loaded for Hernandez, and that one sends everybody home. Walk-off Grand Slam is 19th home run of the year, tied for the league lead. 8-4, the Monarchs win it. Winnipeg taking on Sioux City. This game would have a thrilling finish, too. Nate Sampson with a bottom of the ninth RBI single to tie the game. Trey Martin comes in with a tying run. And the next batter, Zach Cohn, walk off three run homer. What a way to hit your first home run as a Sioux City Explorer. The Explorers come from behind to win it at home 10 to 7. Walk off W. Lake Country taking on Kane County. And the dot counts were showing out defensively. Look at that behind the back play from Evan Krasinski. You got to watch this again. I have no idea how he was able to come up with that baseball. And then start a double play and later on Gabriel Noriega tremendous over the shoulder catch on the pop fly in shallow center and he tops himself a little bit later next inning very next play of the field for him sliding to his right comes to his feet incredible arm strength to make the play good pick at first base as well the Cougars were showing out defensively too diving play from Steve Lombardosi here that is not a bad play in and of itself in the fourth inning and they would win this game Jose Fuentes has been brilliant for them another great start yesterday six innings one run allowed a 240 ER for him and Jimmy Kerrigan did what he does a 16th home run of the season two run shot the Cougars wind up sweeping the Lake Country Dock Hounds 5-1 the final score from Northwest Medicine Field all three Chicago Dogs outfielders made great plays in their win yesterday there's Michael Krause leaping up to make the catch against the center field wall then the right fielder Danny Mars diving to make the play in shallow right and then Charlie Tilson the left fielder gets in on the fun all the way into foul ground for the sliding catch showing out in the outfield but Dogs won that game 9-7 Cleburne taking on Sioux Falls. This was another game that would wind up going down the wire. The Railroaders have the early lead. All-star Zach Narier with his sixth home run of the year here. Cleburne would take a 5-2 lead after six innings in this game, but the Canaries got back in it. Jabari Henry, home run number 18 of the season for him. Two-run blast ties the game up in the eighth, and we go to extras. The Birds would score four runs in the tenth, three of them on that swing from Trey Mihalczewski. They go on to win the ball game 9-6 from Cleburne. And Fargo Moorhead just keeps keeps on racking up the W's. Tyler Grower was the winning pitcher for them yesterday. Six innings of one-run baseball, strikes out four, now a 3.09 ERA for the All-Star left-hander. And Alex Dubord finishes things off in the ninth, strikes out Hunter Clannon with the bases loaded to get his 13th save. The Red Hawks win it 3-1 to one as we look at everything else yesterday in the association. This is one of the most exciting days we have had in the league in a long time. In the standings, Chicago leads the East Division still by 5.5 over Kane County. Lake Country three games out of a playoff spot now. In the West, Fargo's lead over Kansas City remains three games, and Winnipeg and Lincoln still hanging on to those two playoff spots as well. Tonight in the American Association, do your civic duty and watch some baseball on the 4th of July. We'll see if Sioux City has an encore after their dramatic win against Winnipeg. That game is at 7.05. Kansas City is at Cleburne to finish things off as well, 7.06. No American Association now today, by the way. That is going to be happening tomorrow because of the holiday. Until then, I'm Carter Waddeal for the American Association, where we play to win.